We are digging into a bombshell lawsuit tonight filed by fired Miami Dolphins coach Brian Flores. He is now suing the NFL along with three other teams over what he says are racist hiring practices. And then this, Flores says the Dolphins offered him money, $100,000 for every game he lost in order to secure a top draft pick. Flores was fired by the Dolphins after three years, leading the team to their first back-to-back -back winning season since 2003. The NFL saying in a statement the claims are without merit and this league will defend itself. It is the latest allegations of racism targeting the league just shy of two weeks from the Super Bowl. This is a story that investigative correspondent Rich McHugh has been closely following, and he joins us live tonight. Uh, Rich, good to see you. So what is Brian Flores claiming, and does he have evidence to back up these claims? In his suit, Brian Flores is claiming basically widespread discri racial discrimination uh, against the NFL and three teams specifically, um, Miami Dolphins, Denver Broncos, and the New York Giants. He is claiming that in his interview process with the New York Giants just recently, as of I believe it was last week, uh, he was ultimately interviewing for a position which had already been filled. And he, he's come to find out about this because he received a text message from uh, the Patriots coach Bill Belichick saying, uh, basically congratulating him on the job. And he said, look, I, I haven't, he was confused, I said, uh, ultimately, I, I, have, I interview for the job in three days. Do you mean, uh, are, do you think you're talking to Brian Dayball? Uh, Dayball? And ultimately, Bill, Belichick said, I, I'm sorry, um, yes, that's correct, in, in so many words. And so, um, it told him he was ultimately going through a sham, as he puts it, a sham interview process, and that the job had already been filled. And this is an experience he'd had previously uh, in the interview process in Denver with the Broncos. Yeah. Rich, uh, what about these allegations of being paid to lose? Do they go into detail? That, that is some of the most shocking and, and bombshell part of this lawsuit, I find. Uh, it says that in, I believe it was uh, 2019, part of the, when the Dolphins were having a, a terrible season, I think they were, they'd won like three games, he was offered by the, 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 the head of the, the team, uh, Stephen Ross, $100,000 to ultimately tank each game uh, so they could have the first draft pick the next year. Uh, he said he was also uh, encouraged to go to, to meet with a prominent quarterback uh, on a yacht in, in the Miami area, and there's speculation that that quarterback was, of course, Tom Brady. Um, he said when he realized he was part of this, this kind of meeting, he, he refused to go. And um, ultimately, I think that was, that was like the beginning of the end for him, and that's what they speculate in his, in his lawsuit. Rich, the other thing in this lawsuit, the Rooney Rule, it's referenced several times. Explain what that is. So the Rooney, so this is an issue that's been around for a while, Marnie. Um, there's been a lot of, uh, you know, outcry over the fact that, look, you have a league. The NFL has is 70% of its players basically are are African American, and you only have one uh, current coach who's who's black, and there's been outcry over that for years. And so about 20 years ago, they instituted this rule called the Rooney Rule, which required uh, organizations, these these you know organizations, to interview black uh, coaches. And in the lawsuit, they're saying this is, this is part of the sham. Like, these interviews are, are done. Um, they're just going through the motions, and people have been picked. And uh, they're just kind of skirting this whole process. So the Rooney Rule is something you're going to hear a lot about in the coming days. Rich, I mean, this is something that you've been covering, uh, in particular when it comes to injuries and concussions in the NFL, how the league handles diversity. Uh, what has the NFL come out and said in your reporting in recent months in the last couple of years? on how they address diversity? Well, it's interesting. I mean, they have been fighting hard on, on, this, on the issue of the concussion settlement, which has been going on for years, going back to 2014. And only last year, last summer, did they pivot and say, you know what, we're sorry. We actually were race norming, which is saying we were, we were applying different standards to black players than we were to white players. And I think once the public found out about it, they're like, you know, this, this has to be, be blown up. Um, this can't stand. So th this comes at a precarious time or an interesting time for the NFL. They find themselves in, in hot water over this, this other racial issue, but it's, it's all part of the same thing. I, I should note, Marnie, I, I, um, I, I spoke to uh, Flores' attorney before, just before the show and said, look, the, the NFL is claiming that uh, your claims, your client's claims are without merit. 
and I want to get this right, but he says, um, and this is Doug Wigdor, he says, uh, I'm confused that the NFL can conclude in a matter of minutes that the allegations have no merit without a proper investigation. And I find, I, thought, I think that's a very good point. All right, we'll leave it there. Rich, I know you're on it, and we are as well. And as I said just moments ago, the NFL doing damage control now with just a couple of weeks until the Super Bowl. Uh, the focus will be on this for the next few days and beyond. Rich McHugh, as always, thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.